You're gonna build another one even taller? Yeah, this is solid, y'all. Why that door open to the attic? Zoom in on that. Is that a camera? Let's see if we have footage of what happened. It's pointing right at the trampoline. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm on the way to Carter's house now. I heard he's back in town, and I gotta go see exactly what's up with the trampoline tower. It's been a few days since it's fallen over, or however it's been taken down. But I'm on my way quickly there now. Let's go ask Carter a few questions myself. I can't really get down to the bottom of this, because I can't let this die out. This is just too big of an issue right now. Seriously, y'all. The trampoline tower is still down. At least I think it is. I don't know. Pinch me. I must be dreaming. <laughs> nope, nope. I'm... I'm definitely not dreaming. All right, let's go check it out. I will say one thing for sure, it's definitely nice out today. Look at this. It's not raining, it's not freezing cold, so I think we'll be able to actually maybe find a bit more information that we're looking for today since everything's kind of cleared up. Or maybe that's just like the best time for everything to have been covered up is when it is clear. See, these are the questions I need to ask everyone who was there that night or honestly, I don't even know who was there that night. Should probably start with finding out out first. So I'm at the team bar house now and it looks like flashlights I put down on the ground. The last video are still here. Everything seems to be just as left as normal. The glove, I mean, y'all, the only thing that I can really find at this point are actual footprints left in the ground. Like you can see these indentions left from the rain. Obviously if someone came and walked, actually that won't work because Stove and I walked through here. Like I told him we shouldn't have. Oh my God, look at this. It's all bent there. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. I almost fell. Look at this, Russ. Wow. Okay, so I think we all came to a conclusion that this was definitely done by the wind. I mean, the LA winds have been really strong lately. I don't think rain really did it. Maybe it helped a little bit, but honestly, at the end of the day, we really think it was probably the wind that knocked it over, which is really unfortunate and really weird because it's been really windy here before and it's never knocked the tower down. Also, it was attached to this too for support and also these other two trampolines. I don't really know how wind could blow that over. You know, as a matter of fact, we're gonna test this out right now. Let me show y'all that. Wind can't really push ah, even this one over. See, I'm, I'm like, I'm pushing ah, pretty hard and it's not even slightly budging. Oh yeah, I mean, oh geez. Okay, it is rolling, but when this thing was up on his feet, it couldn't move that easy. Y'all seen us climb it, you seen us jump and flip off of it, and nothing has yet to seem to take this out until now, which really sucks. I seriously am baffled by this stuff. So if y'all have any idea how this even happened, please let me know in the comments down below. This is just awful to look at. This is the last thing I would want to wake up and see every day. The massive trampoline tower falling over to the ground. It sucks. It really does suck. But we're going to have to figure this out, y'all, seriously. And I know Carter did call the cops. And Carter is somewhere around here today. I'll find him at some point. But the thing is, just calling cops isn't going to settle this issue, you know? Like, the tower is still falling over. We need to put this thing back up. I don't even know if that's going to be possible. It's so heavy. Seriously. We're gonna need to get a crane to like pull it up and lift it. Cause originally we had to put each one individually together and then build it all the way up as high as what y'all saw. And now we can't even do that. You literally have to take this entire thing apart, which would take so long, so long. Here, let's, let's look around here. Okay, nothing under there. Okay, some cinder blocks. I don't think cinder blocks would have caused this. It's in here. So Okay, some watermelons. That's interesting. See, I, I don't know what cinder blocks and watermelons have to do with this equation. It really doesn't add up. I mean, the tower is over, but the only thing next to it are cinder blocks, gloves, watermelons, a spray can, and then also a bunch of broken Lego. I'm a little confused here. I'm a little confused. This just doesn't make sense. Oh, what is this? Aha. Okay, so a rope with a 10 pound weight. Maybe that went over the tower. No, because it would have been attached to the tower. Well, we know the yellow rope is over there and it's tied to it. So it's either the wind blew it over or someone tied a yellow rope to it and pulled it over, which I couldn't see that even being possible. I know I'm really strong, but I couldn't even personally do that. That's just some freak strength if you did that, seriously. But this is, oh my God, this is awful. Look at this, this sucks. It's a nice day out, it's warm. The last few days, actually weeks have been rainy and cold, god awful weather in LA. And the one day 
after like it's new year already it's the new year it's 2022 this thing is still falling over what do we do seriously what do we do i i don't know at this point okay that seems to be good so let's let's go double check the lego tower so if that thing comes down too i have an idea of why that tower might have fallen over as well okay everything seems to be fine here just heard something over there did y'all see that definitely saw or heard something over there that was freaking weird what do we have here all right everything seems to be fine right look i mean it's all intact it's pretty yeah this is solid y'all if this thing ever were to come down look it's pretty freaking strong i'm gonna tell you that everything seems to be nice solid solid okay let's go check the next level now let's go check the next level okay everything seemed to be good up there seems to be good nice okay well we saw everything we need to see here i think this is perfectly fine i don't understand why just the tower would have come down at the team mark crib seems like someone's trying to make a statement here like I, I really quite honestly don't understand this whole thing right now nor this why why are these broken on the ground right here? Regardless, we're getting down to the bottom of this situation right now. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to go find Carter. I'm going to see if he's gotten any more information about this tower being knocked over. I mean, he's the only one who called the cops, right? I didn't call cops. I was a stove and... Wait, why is the roof... Y'all see that, right? Up there? Why is that door open to the attic? Hold on. Maybe we should go look at that. There's too many things going on right now. The attic door being open, that's really sus. And Carter's not even around right now. <sighs> This is getting to the point where I feel like I'm just an investigator at, at, on this property. Just walking around trying to find clues, evidence, trying to figure out what happened here. I mean, everything was going smooth. All content was fine. We, everyone was having a good time. And then we come home one night to this. What? Are you serious? That's so annoying. Okay, is there anything else out here that might have gotten destroyed? All the cars seem to be there. So cars are here. Perfectly fine. Lego tower is completely fine. The inside of the house is completely fine. Actually, the inside of the house looks better than normal right now. That's weird too. It's as if like the day the tower comes down, everything else around the house is magically cleaned up and fixed. I'm trying to like put straws together, y'all, and see what makes sense, what adds up here. So I'm starting to think this is definitely not from Mother Nature herself. This is from someone or something or multiple things i don't know i'm just taking predictions right now but i'm starting to really think what actually happened that night of the trampoline tower coming down guess where there's only one way to find out all right why is carter oh perfect hey carter carter dude i saw you uh you called the cops about this situation right yeah where have you been dude i be where have you been is the real question well, i was in hawaii but you weren't here the first day that this fell down yeah i know and stove and i came the next day it was pouring rain and we tried to see like how could this even possibly happen? Did, did the legs give out? They finally rusted away? No, dude, I think someone tore it down. The cops came and said it wasn't the wind. Someone broke in to our house and tore it down. Actually, I almost got in trouble for this thing. I saw the cops said it was illegal, they right? They said it was an illegal structure in the backyard. I need permits. Yeah, if it had one more trampoline though. Well, now that it fell over, it's not tall enough. So we're, we're good now. So almost, the robbers almost saved me from wait, getting a, a ticket. Wait, this is not, no, it's, who cares about a ticket? We can pay it off. What? We can't, you can't pay off these memories, bro. Yeah, also, that metal, look, it's bent, completely jammed in there. Is there any way we can, like, order a crane and pick it back up? No, it's broken. If Dude, we... I have a lot of friends who want to come do this still. So you realize that, to right? jump off this? Yes! Well, I want to jump off it, too. I haven't jumped off it in, for no, I don't know how long. But if we stand this thing back up, even if we could, it would fall over again, because it's all compromised. It's all broken. All this trampoline's broken, I think. So literally, you got no information out of your last video. We just, we're done. We're, you're just gonna let this sit here and rot. Well, I'm gonna have to tear it down at some point. No, don't say, don't, say, don't say that, don't say that. These trampolines are not safe to jump on because they fell so hard when they fell over. This thing was so tall when it hit, it literally like, the springs exploded off it. Like this one literally stretched out and just came off and a lot of the other ones did too. Dude, that sucks. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a bunch of springs in there, y'all. That sucks. Well, we should at least take the sign off and keep this, because this is in good condition. Thank God it didn't land on the sign, bro. <laughs> yeah. At least... That would have been bad. This thing was expensive. Yeah, really expensive. Dang, well, I hope we figure this out soon. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go what's cry. Next. What's, next? what's next? Come over here. What do you mean, what's next? How, what, how, what, you're gonna build another one even taller? I'm down for that. Zoom in on that. What is it? 
Is that a camera? When Andrew gets back, we're gonna log into the system and see if we have footage of what happened. Look, it's pointing right at the trampoline. Dude, that's actually funny because Andrew's supposed to be back today and I saw it snowed him in where yeah, he lives. Exactly. Andrew was. What are the odds? Now I have to wait even longer to find the security footage. And when I do, I'm filming a video and you guys will know about it because we're gonna find out who pulled this thing over or pushed it over or whatever. All right. Cops are involved already. All right. Well, that's, that, I guess that's enough. We'll, we'll wait till Andrew gets back. Appreciate it, Cardis. Sucks, but I'm gonna go on that trampoline for now. At the least. only one. It's the only one left. All right. We'll see you guys next time.